Please, just talk to Brother Devon. Shield me from those who would do me harm. I have some buttons about bringing in the bus and surrender, so. science and institutes of learning. Surely they are out there still. If you're standing here, I presume you've dealt with the heretic? Oh... Oh, please... Oh. Keep the faith... Must... Must continue... A sign... Adam above, give me a sign. Uh, hi there. Holy Adam, from this spot, I... I... Is that you? Oh, holy... Oh, I, I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were... Never mind. Did you need something? You seem like you're expecting someone. I am. Adam came to me, and I will follow his command. Adam came to you? What did you see? My saving grace. Jet has been my crutch for many years. One day, I was in the woods, polluting myself, when a figure strode from the sky before me, a verdant stag, wreathed in holy glow. It commanded me to return to the Nucleus, and to leave behind my iniquities, and give myself fully to Adam. For my dedication, Adam would send another messenger, who would free me from my shackles once and for all. That, brother, is why I must wait. I have good news! I am Adam's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. hi -ya! There! Now, uh, let's just keep this between us, okay? You're the... You're the messenger? The shackles are gone? They are, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Thank you, your brilliance. And don't fear, messenger. I will keep your secret. Oh, Adam above, thank you. I can't believe it. His messenger! Oh no. The body can repair tissue damage, but still, too much radiation too quickly can prove fatal. Brother, have you dealt with the heretic? We must suffer to truly feel Adam's embrace, to lay broken before him and feel the gentle wash of the glow.
You did it. Adam above, you did it. Here, anytime I brew a new batch, you can have some. And if there's anything else I can do for you, you let me know. You mentioned before you're affected by radiation. Why would you choose to live in a place like this? Sure beats where I came from. Before joining the family, I was a trapper. Lived with a nasty bunch out in the fog. Barely scraping by. Kind of place you slept with a knife under your pillow to make sure no one stole your food. But one day, out hunting, we stumbled upon High Confessor Tectus and his crew on their way to a pilgrimage. We surrounded them, took them captive. Figured we could ransom them back for some grub and ammo. I pulled guard duty, and me and the High Confessor get to talking. You can probably figure out what happened next. You turned on the trappers? Mm-hmm. The High Confessor started describing the life I could have at the Nucleus with Adam. Three meals a day, not having to worry about getting eaten in my sleep. Radiation wasn't even that much worse. Plus, I had my brew to handle that. Ended up being a pretty easy decision. I helped the children clean out the trappers and started my new life here. So, something else I can do for you? Why do you care so much about Devin? I mean, he's a good kid. Sure, he likes his jet a little too much, but it's not like he was out raiding. He just needed a hand. And lucky for us both, you showed up. Huh. Kinda makes you wonder if Adam didn't have a part in this after all. So, was there something else? Got any more of your brew? We're fresh out at the moment. Stop by in a couple of days. Now you need something else? Didn't need anything at the moment. All right, then. Take care of yourself. Speed, Adam, for unshackling me. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Is that balance? Oh, brilliant, Adam. Guide your servant. Oh, yes, Adam's will be. Hey. May I be of assistance? Hey. You need something. Yes? Uh, hi there. Ah, the latest addition to our uh, little family. Welcome, child. 
If you are in need of aid, you've come to the right place. Sounds so great. Are you all right? Old wounds. Reminders of a wicked life. What sort of wicked life? I was a doctor in Far Harbor. I fell for a pious man. A man who has since abandoned us. We were chased from town by those upset with our union. I must have angered Adam as well, as he afflicted me with this. Could use some supplies, actually. All that I have. Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? Slobbering goon? Do people have bad reactions to the spring? Few make it through the ritual intact. Sort of the point. A vision from Adam is a great honor. Not something to be granted to the unworthy. So tell me. What did you see? So the spring is supposed to hurt people? The spring shows who's capable of serving Adam and who is not. Clearly Adam saw your strength and blessed you with the vision of... A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you? Saw the mother of the... How did... I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. So you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith and guardians of the nucleus. Most were mercenaries or trappers before they finally came to Adam. Though Richter, apparently, was actually a soldier of some rank in his old life, if the rumors are true. Adam ever grant you any vision? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when I was just a girl. May do for a couple years. Adam's veil hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then... came the storm. A rad storm. Unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead didn't stand a chance. I was the only one to survive. Thanks to my blessing. Adam's blessing. I wandered for days. Living off whatever I could scrounge, drinking puddles and salt water, until I stumbled on a spring. THE spring. A vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but I wasn't afraid. I was in control. When I finally came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well-liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her. 
At least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. What caused Gwyneth to turn her back on Adam? I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly. When she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is a lie. When Tectus confronted her, she struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, she fled. Tectus wanted us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time, it was not his decision. Confessor Martin insisted we wait, hope for her return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. Or so we thought. One of the acolytes spied her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemous messages appeared, and we knew it had to be her. Why not just ignore her? Is Gwyneth really that much of a threat to you? No. That is out of the question. Adam's will is clear in this matter. Heresy cannot be tolerated. I can tell Gwyneth was your friend. How do I know you didn't deliberately fail? I would never risk defying Adam's will. My faith is my life, and my devotion to Adam is absolute. <sighs> Despite your insults, it is my duty to help you in this matter, and so I will. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. The veil of Adam will purge the heretics from the... Pardon me, Archimist. My child, this must be serious. If it cannot wait until morning. Not feeling so hot. Mind taking a look? What ails you? You don't have cures for chem addiction, do you? We befoul what Adam gives. I can treat you. Now, deep breath. Something else you needed? Now nah, we're done. Very well, then. Excuse me, Archimist. Who am I to turn away the ill? Even at this hour, what ails you? Not now. Fine. Radiation should be avoided at all costs. It could damage you irreparably. Excuse me. Was wondering when I'd get to meet our newest member. I'm Sister Mai. And rumor has it, you're the one who caught the attention of the Mother of the Fog. You happen to catch the Grand Zealot's, uh, loyalty test too? Loyalty test? Yeah. We saw Richter leading those two outside. Only one came back right around the time you showed. Figured you were probably witness to the whole thing. Yeah. I saw it. Hmm. Look, it's a lesson worth learning now. Trust is a big deal in this family. Our members need to know how to steer clear of trouble. Just stay on the High Confessor's good side and you'll be alright. Now, there's something I can show you? And, uh, not sure if the glow bothers you, but I can help with scouring too. You mentioned scouring? 
what's that? Oh, right. Well, most of us here, the glow doesn't harm us. But Adam's picky about sharing his blessing. We keep some anti-rad meds on hand for those in need. Most folks around here, High Confessor included, consider it kind of a penitence. Scour oneself and embrace the glow anew. So, did you want to peruse the goods? Was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. Well, there is a project I'm kind of stuck on. I assume you saw the old rad decontamination arches on the way in. I've been trying to fix them for a while now, but I hit a snag. I need a pump regulator with some serious chemical shielding, industrial grade. And if any place on this island is going to have one, it's the Vimpop factory. The place is swarming with mutants, but if you're up for it, I can make it worth your while. You interested? Why fix the decontamination arches? Don't they get rid of radiation? Not the way I rigged them. I bypass the filters, so once we get the regulator in place, we'll have a clean way to get a big dose of glow. So, you game to recover it for me? What kind of reward are we talking here? For you risking life and limb for my pet project? I've got an old radium rifle I've been tinkering with. You bring the regulator back, it's yours. All right. I'll track down the pump regulator for you. You will? Fantastic. I figure it'll probably be somewhere near the mixing room. Just watch yourself out there, all right? So can I show you something? I don't think so. I'm here if you change your mind. We'll all be divided before Sister Mai finishes her work on the decontamination arches. Excuse me, brother. Grand Zealot sends shivers down my spine. Please, don't tell him I said that. Caution, brother. Last child who tried to claim the secrets within, roused the guardians of the base. So unless you've been tasked by the High Confessor, I'd steer clear of the command center. Secrets? What secrets? We do not know. The High Confessor believes the key to eliminating Far Harbor is locked away in there. So you can understand why the children would be eager to claim it. But one of the recent aspirants appears to have tripped the old security system. Now, only the brave, blessed, or mad enter. Don't fear, sister. Adam will shield me. I expect our fallen brethren thought the same. But if you wish to put your fate in Adam's hands, I will not stop you. May he watch over you. The influx of data is hard to process. Apologies if sometimes I make little sense. I will work on this. Consider yourself warned.
Wait, you're the one there Singh saw the mother. Good omen. You looking for weapons, ammo, plenty of gamma rounds. Folks here seem pretty heavily armed for a religious organization. Island's a dangerous place. Heretics, trappers, beasts of the fog. Adam may have granted us this kingdom, but he left it to us to preserve it. Now, can I show you something? I'll think about it. Watch yourself out there. Looking to send someone to their maker? To lay broken before him and feel the gentle wash of the glow. Sister Gwyneth was never violent in the past. But you should still be prepared for anything. Holy Adam, we shall crush their walls and drive their heresy into the sea. Supposedly, Brother Devon had another message from Adam. Who knew our little family was so favored? Have you dispensed Adam's judgment to Sister Gwyneth? Be respectful. You walk through hallowed halls. Pardon me, sister. I can do it. I will be the one to get through the old command center. Tomorrow, maybe the day after. Ah, I'd heard whispers of a new convert. Welcome. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's Chosen? More rats than I usually like, that's for damn sure. Ah, you do not bear Adam's blessing. No issue. A number of our brethren live so. But I digress. I have a question for you. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? Is Far Harbor really that bad? Yes, brother. They are. 
For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? Would you mind answering a couple questions for me? I would be happy to. What would you know? What happened to the Confessor before you? Martin. No one knows. One night he was sleeping in his chambers in the vessel, and the next morning he'd simply vanished. The other zealots and I organized a party to try and find him, to no avail. I wouldn't be shocked if he took up in Far Harbor or fled to the south. His dedication to Adam had become... questionable. He'd done nothing when Far Harbor executed one of our missionaries. So I dare say it's best that he fled. What happened to this missionary? A foul atrocity. Our good brother Andrews had decided to brave the fog and attempt to bring Adam's light to that ghastly town and remind the heathens of their trespasses. From what I hear, he'd barely spoken a word before they cut him down in cold blood for nothing more than his devotion. Beasts. There's so much radiation on the island. How come people here don't get sick? Some do. But most of our family has been blessed at birth with an affinity for the glow. It's no more to us than a May rain. Warm. Comforting. It's why a place like this island truly is meant for his children. Others simply wither away while we gladly await division. What can you tell me about Division? Adam's greatest gift. Locked inside us all are billions of invisible worlds, waiting only to be touched by his glow in order to be born anew through Division. During the Great War, it was granted to many, though they certainly didn't realize it. But today it is often a slow process, taking years of exposure in order to be realized. We are all here to spend our lives seeking the promise of division, however long it may take. Now, did you have another question? I heard the children are responsible for the fog. Is that true? Of course. The fog predates our arrival on the island, certainly. But before us, it was but an occasional presence. Yet through our faith, our devotion to family, Adam saw fit to reach across the land, claiming for us more, year after year, until near all lay beneath his grasp. Now, was there something else I could answer for you? How is it you came to this place? We were guided here many years ago, after our exile from Far Harbor. The first of us, my predecessor, Martin, and I, had come north at the behest of Adam's great prophet, Confessor Cromwell, from a small refuge in the capital wastes. When we arrived on the island, we found a few souls receptive to Adam's message. Anna, the Archimist, was formerly Far Harbor's doctor before she found the light. But most, they thought us a menace. We were chased from the town, driven into the wilds, 
barely escaped with our lives. Some of us were never the same. It was only thanks to the grace of Atom that we survived, and finally found a place that we could call home. Didn't have anything else for the moment. Adam, keep you. Excuse me, High Confessor. Far Harbor claims another of our brethren. Their demise cannot come soon enough. But, I'm sorry, you needed something. Yeah, I'd like to help the family. Is there anything I can do? Eager. There is a member of our little community I've suspected for some time now. My own inquiries have proven fruitless. But your relative newness will likely make it easier for you to sniff out the truth. I would have you investigate this person. Should you find proof of any heresy or disloyalty, you're to bring it to me. So you can be trusted, and you'll be rewarded. What exactly am I looking for? Hard evidence of any plots against myself, the family, or disrespect towards Holy Adam. Such transgressions cannot be allowed to stand. You mentioned a reward. There is a relic, a sacred cowl, that I've been holding on to. Perform the deed to my satisfaction, and it's yours. Consider it done. Superb. Bring whatever you find directly to me. Here, the person in question. Leave no stone unturned. This is a chance to prove your value to Adam. should be avoided at all costs. It could damage you irreparably. Far Harbor has sinned against Adam's children for the last time. Their judgment comes.
If you're looking for the crypt, you took a wrong turn. My job to take care of this place. You touch anything, I'm taking the limb. Understand? Why build a crypt in the sub? Don't you have the entire base? Keeps our fallen brethren near his glow. Near their family. Only spotted child should spend eternity. A true honor. Denied to too many. Why would someone be denied a place in the crypt? You've been out there, right? This place. It's dangerous. Take a wrong turn in the fog? Sorry, brother. Lost to the family. Wandered too close to the wrong settlement. Lost to the family. Adam, help you. You look at Tectus the wrong way. You don't like Tectus, huh? Who wouldn't? Man's a damn... Uh, that is, uh, I... Uh, I like Tectus just fine, but I, uh, I think you should go. Pardon me. Nothing more to say to you. me along with stupid questions. I heard Zelda Thiel was born in the heart of a rad storm. I'd believe No way to pick this. It is hard to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks.
Far Harbor had their chance to embrace Adam's word. It's too late for them now. The High Confessor's word is the word of Adam. Remember? Well, my love. you dealt with the heretic? If you're heading inside the vessel, just stay out of Sister Aubert's way. Tectus is a damn fine confessor. Best we've had. Sister Aubert, I found this note you penned about the High Confessor. Something like this could get you in a lot of trouble. My note? My note? Uh, listen, I, uh, I, I was mad. The High Confessor is a good man. I, I, I wouldn't. I, please, please, just, just, just let me have it back, and I'll get rid of it. We can pretend this never happened. Please. Look, no matter what I do, you're not safe here. You need to leave. Now. Shit, you're right. Shit! Just, um, give me a little time before you say anything, all right? Please.
division will find us all in time. High Confessor. Glory to Adam, my child. Did you need something? I wanted to talk to you about Sister Aubert. Hmm, yes. Tell me. What did you find? What's going to happen to her? I suppose that all depends on what you found, child. But only a fool would allow a potentially deadly wound to fester. Now, are you going to tell me what you unearthed? I'm still searching. Hmm. Return to me when you've uncovered proof. Confessor speaks to Adam through the voice in his head, or do you think he has to say the words aloud? Quake before Adam's majesty. You should get out of here. Sister Aubert, I found this note you penned about the High Confessor. Something like this could get you in a lot of trouble. My note? My note? Uh, we can pretend this never happened. I might be inclined to help you if I heard the jangle of some caps. Yeah, here. Everything I've got. So... You'll keep this secret. Let me have my note. Don't worry. I'll tell him everything's above board. Here, take this and destroy it. Oh, Adam, above. Thank you. Thank you. Just, when you report back, tell him I'm loyal, all right? Please. Yes? What is it, child? I wanted to talk to you about Sister Aubert. Hmm, yes. Tell me. What did you find? I looked into her, but it seems that Sister Aubert's loyal. You've got nothing to worry about. Really? Hmm. I must say I'm surprised. Well, you've nonetheless lifted a weight from my shoulders. Here, for your effort. Your service to Atom will not be soon forgotten.
Adam's favorite child graces my presence. Is there something I can do for you? 